What's up guys? This is Brent with 247parts.com, the best place online to buy your John Deere parts. Now let's go ahead and jump right in and show you how to install this mulch control kit on your John Deere Z320R. Now this is going to be the same for any of the new Z3 models that have the 42 inch XL deep deck. Now the tools that we're going to need for this install, very simple, a ratchet with a 15 millimeter socket and a 13 millimeter socket. You may also want a 13 millimeter wrench for some of those tight spots. And then also we're going to need a pair of pliers because the first thing that we're gonna to need to do is get the deck off of this mower. All right, now getting the deck off first, we're gonna need that ratchet with 15 millimeter socket as this is what's gonna help us move the tension idler out of the way so that we can get the belt off first. Then we're looking for this idler right here. This is our tension idler. And then once we get it, pushed back out of the way. We're gonna put that 15 millimeter socket right here on top. Then we're gonna work the belt off of the idler next to it over here to the left. All right, so 15 millimeter on top. We're gonna to push this out of the way to give us some room. We're just gonna reach over, take that off of the idler there let this loose and then now we're going to go to the back of the mower and take that off of the back pulley now once we have the belt loose we have pins on these hangers on each side that we need to take off you may need pliers for these and you may not so we're going to take one of the clip pins off and then we have a pin going through the hanger arm here that we need to work loose just like that same thing here on the other side and sometimes to get these loose, you may have to pull up on your deck just a little bit. And then lastly, one here at the front. And then once we've done that, we need to get those arms out of the way. So we're gonna raise up, push on our pedal here. And then now we can slide the deck out. And then we are going to flip it onto its edge like this. And we're gonna rotate it out where we can work on the top side and on the back, just like that. Now, the first piece to install is going to be this one here that you will see in your kit. This is going to be the deflector that hard mounts to this piece here and to the flap on the top side of your deck. So we need to get this piece out first, and this is going to mount right here onto these two pieces. You'll see here that we have a couple of holes that are cut out and that is where we want to mount this piece. So first we're gonna pull back here on our discharge chute. Now we're wanting to put the curved side of this piece into the deck like this. And then also on this top little flag, we'll see this ridge here on top. That is going to mount against the flap here. So. We're gonna slide this in, raise up on our flap, get that set into place just like so. Now, the bolts that we have in our kit are gonna be a couple of carriage head bolts, and these are going to be the nuts that we're gonna use that 13 millimeter socket on. So we're gonna go in on the bottom side with our carriage head, as those square those holes are squared. So that is going to grip onto that bolt. We're gonna start our nut here on the back side. So now on the flap here, we're going to go in from the top side of the deck, which is gonna be on your bottom side with it flipped over. So we're gonna push that through and we're going in through the metal flap because that is where our square hole is cut out. Then we'll go ahead and put this nut on as well. We'll go in here and tighten these down. Now these are where that wrench is really gonna come in handy as it's a little bit hard to get your ratchet in there. So just make sure that you do have your wrenches handy whenever doing this install. All right, now next what we're looking at is putting in the baffles and the actual flap. So you're going to have these big plastic pieces here, this one here, and then this is going to be our flap. So first thing that we wanna do is we need to mate these two pieces together. So how we're going to do that is we're gonna see the curved side here matching up with the curved side on this. And we're going to slide these two pieces into each other just like that. And then once we have those slid together, we are going to also have a little metal rod with a flag on it, just like that. There's your flag. And what we're gonna do here is we are going to slide this into the hole that is our hinge right here. And this flag piece is going to go actually on your flap that's going to either open or close. So we're gonna slide that down through the hole, making sure that flag is going into the door, make sure to get it pushed where it is fully seated. And then now this is going to be what mounts to the top here 
of the deck. So from here, we're gonna have two bolts that are already on it. So one is made into the actual shroud piece, and then one is going to be our rod here with our flag on it. And then our others are going to line up with our two holes here at the top. So once we get those through, we have some holes here in the deck, one here and then a square hole here. That is where our silver and black studs are gonna go through. So we wanna line those up, get those put through, and then we're going to have these funky looking shoulder bolts here. And we'll see here that at the top, we've got two spots for these to go in. So we'll go ahead and start those in and start one of our nuts on the back side of that, just to make sure and get everything held into place. We'll go ahead and start our other one on this side, just like that. And then we have one that's gonna be recessed here, right back up above our hinge here. So we're gonna put that in right there. And then while we still have the deck flipped up, we're gonna go ahead and tighten these down. All right, now with everything moving freely, now we can flip the deck over and last but not least, get our handle installed. Now, when we go on with our open and close lever, we'll see here, this is our flag bolt that is on that flip open chute. And then this is the stud that was already mounted onto that shroud. So we're gonna take our handle here that it comes pre-assembled. We're going to set it down and onto those two bolts. Now we wanna make sure that whenever we set this down that our lever is facing backward because if it's not, we need to make sure and get it in that position backward or we need to make sure and have our flap open if it's in this front position here. So once we have that set on, we're gonna take the last two nuts that came in our kit and we are just going to get those put on and tighten those up. All right, and then once we get those snugged up, now we can pull open, we'll hear that open, do that and that's closed. Then we wanna make sure and check it over here on the side as well. Raise up on our chute, pull open, there's open, close, and that's closed. All right, so final step to this would just be to reinstall your deck just like you took it off. We're gonna make sure and slide that underneath. We're gonna hook up our front connection first, then hook up our two back connections. And then lastly, we want to get that deck belt back on the rear pulley and then put it back on the pulley on our deck. So just like that, guys, you have your mulch control kit reinstalled. I hope this video helped you out. I hope you liked this video. And if you did, and you think that this is the kit that you need for your mower, make sure to go check out 247parts.com and look for part number BUC. 10704. And if you're having trouble finding that, make sure to reach out to one of our support people. There's a phone number listed there on the website that they can help you out. So guys, like I said, I hope this video helped you out. If it did, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. And also guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Hey guys, make sure to go buy your parts right here and subscribe right here.